I don't think this airport's ever been this noisy before, but thankfully everybody's having a great time, great weekend. You know, to have this roster of acts playing in Carlisle, you know, some of the biggest, biggest names in the world music all together here or in, under one roof, it's just utterly phenomenal and we'll never see the likes of it again. They could come back in 10 years and do it, but actually I don't think they would be able to get the acts that are at the top of their game as they have for this event. Hey, we're the scripts and you're watching Lakes TV. How are you looking forward to uh, your set this afternoon? Can't wait to get on. I'm after uh, been out there watching Bruno Mars and the audience are really, really great. They're in the mood for a good gig, so we're going to go out there and give it a blast. Uh, have you been staying over in the in the lakes? Have you been staying over in, or have you just come today? We, did, we arrived today and we're going to leave today. We yeah. arrived this morning, that's how, uh, how, how close our schedule is. So we arrived this morning uh, and then we play the show and we leave straight after. So we only get to see the bands that are on during that short window in between promo and yeah. stage. But to be honest, you can hear the crowd from here, they're going to go crazy, I think, you know, so it's going to be good. Absolutely. So, any surprises lined up for, for today's show? Yeah, I'm actually I'm going to, this is all Velcro. I'm just gonna rip it off. I have a meat in dress. In really inappropriate song. Yeah, Mark's gonna wear a chicken, chicken dress. I'm gonna wear a meat dress and I'm gonna barbecue myself on stage <laughs> live tonight. You know, we arrived here first thing this morning at about nine o'clock and we went into the main tent area and uh, we were we were very eagerly shepherded out of the place by security guards, basically saying there's no point hanging around because you're not going to see anything and, and the tent was cleared and then no about five minutes later we heard Lady Gaga running through her practice. So she's been around, I thought, you know, a lot of people have been saying, oh, she'll fly in for five minutes and she'll fly out again. The reality is, she's such a professional, she's been here since nine o'clock this morning practicing. If you look through the annals of rock history, some of the most famous bands have been inspired by going to a gig themselves when they were younger and looking at someone on stage and thinking I want to do that and if that happens for Carlisle if there's a band out there you know maybe maybe kids at the moment that are looking at the stage looking at one of their idols seeing them in their home city and they think that inspires them to take up music I mean that would be that would be you know the, the icing on the cake really Hi, we're the Wombats, and you're watching Lakes TV. Everyone, you're about to go on stage, um, ready for one big weekend. Um, what would you like to say to the people of Ulverston um, following your following your performance uh, at the Roxy? Did you enjoy, uh, you enjoy the latest script? Yeah, yeah, we've um, spent a lot of time in Ulverston. So I certainly have our managers uh, from there, and we, uh, we were there this morning and last night, in fact. Uh, was on Hode Hill. Oh, right. Hill. It was pretty, yeah, pretty had, a couple of, had a couple of Guinness in the farmers. Um, Which in the Eurovision? Yeah, it's a really nice place, so I um, hope we'll be able to come back there and rip Coronation Hall apart again. I think the impact um, of having an event like this will have on Pal Island, Cumbria and the Lake District. I think it just it puts um, you know, it, it puts it brings everyone's attention to the place and stuff in a, in a different way. You know, people think of it. Obviously, you can't have walks here if you're, from, if you're not from Cumbria and the Lakes. Then it's a nice place to go and see the countryside. But how many people will think about it in a different way? I don't know. It is amazing. Hopefully, walks. it gets the more involved in like live music scene and stuff like that. So, yeah. Just to have a good time. Shut up and move with me, move with me, or, or get out of my You like to go off the beaten track, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why is that? Do you think it's getting to your real fans and getting to the roots? I think it's just because we'll do a gig anywhere. Like. We just love playing gigs. Yeah. And whoever wants to put us on, we just, yeah, we just, we just do it. Oh, it's amazing going to places as well that are a bit different and you know, people aren't used to people, uh, bands coming through so you get an amazing reaction because they're yeah, so uh, very excited. But it's, it's absolutely round there in the uh, in the main main stage. How are you feeling, you know, just, just 
literally a few, a few moments before you're going to go on stage. You seem quite relaxing. Oh, I definitely feel something in my stomach, like lingering around. It's strange doing a gig this early, it's uh, when he just like probably woke up, so about half an hour before I think we're all alive. I've got a lot of energy in me, so it just needs to just, just go so in our heads. It's probably like past the midnight anyway. Yeah. The best DJs in the business, some of the best music writers in the business, all talking about Carlisle, all talking about Cumbria. So from a promoting the area point of view, it's money can't buy publicity, you know, if it's tens of millions, it's that serious. It's a, it's a bit of a cliche, but it has really put Carlisle on the map.